year of the new South Africa is over. We're world and hijackings. Squatters stream into our cities in search of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. In order to get rid of its bloody past, the country needs a careful facelift. So does Noel Fine. Who's there? Who's? Oh, Dora. I have your bag, madam. My makeup bag, my beloved makeup. Oh, I've missed it so much. Don't worry. Soon you'll be able to put on all your makeup at the same time. Oh, it's the lipstick I've missed the most, Dora. No, madam, you can't wear lipstick now. Hmm? I can't even see your mouth. Oh, no, Dora. Shh, madam, don't cry. I must just think happy things. Yes, madam, happy things. I can't think of one happy thing. Just think how happy the kids are. Selwyn on the kibbutz in Israel. Oh, but my God, he's so close to the Arabs. Do you know, things are much worse there than they ever were here. I mean, at least here in South Africa, you knew who your enemy was because he was black, eh? I mean, there, when an Arab takes off his Arab clothes, he looks like a Jew. You never know where you are in Israel. Think about Bernard in Canada. No, Bernard doesn't write. I'm cross with him. Lawrence sends a love. Don't mention Lawrence's name. I'm still too upset about what Lawrence's up to. Now, madam, forget about happy things. I'll tell you the news about the ANC's first year in government. That will cheer you up. Queenie is in trouble again for telling the truth. Ah, muscle talk. Bantu Holomisa is in trouble again for telling a secret. Oh, viva. And Nelson wore your ethnic shirt again last night on TV. The one you say you gave him in jail. Oh, what a mensch. How's Miss Cheryl? Is she still in here with me? You went in at the same time. Maybe she's next door. Just check there. Miss Cheryl, are you still alive? She's still breathing. Of course she's breathing, Dora. We haven't had heart transplants or, or, or hysterectomies. We've just come in for facelift. Oh, God, I can't stand lying in bed like this, like an invalid. I want to get up. Nobody gets up. People who want to spend all that money on facelifts while other people are starving round the corner will do what they told, or they out. Oh, oh man, you're hurting me. It's impossible to hurt you. You look like an old Egyptian mummy. Oh. And your skin is so thick. If I were to push a hypodermic syringe into your bum, it wouldn't go in. The needle would break. Oh, I will not be spoken to like that by somebody without a face. It's you who have no face, Mrs. Fine. I saw them wheeling out your old face in a slop bucket. Oh, shame. It was quite a nice face. Why did you get rid of it? Was it going rotten? I'm not getting rid of my face. I'm here for corrective surgery. Where is Dr. Bennon? I demand to see my doctor. Well, you can't. Why not? I'm paying very good money. And it's thanks to that money that Dr. Bennon can do what he's doing right now. Playing golf? No, actually, he's across the road. Oh, having a four-course lunch at my expense, the schmuck. No, he's attending the people in the Algeria squatter camp. Now, that's even worse. I pay, and he uses my time with people who don't pay. 
And they're all grateful for your generous subsidy, Mrs. Fine. You might be a pain in the ass as a patient, but your money buys much that is good. <laughs> now, why do I think that that was a sort of a compliment? It was a real kiss, madam. Is she black? No, madam. She's blonde. Oh, well, that makes sense. I've never got on with other blondes. Miss Cheryl is your best friend, and she's a blonde. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not your best friend? No, she ran away to California in 1979, leaving me to face the music. Uh -uh. But I always thought she was a blonde. Hmm. Well, she's not. She's been checked. Go have a look. <laughs> you could have fooled me. No! Nah! Dora, I am a blonde. I swear to God, I was born a blonde. It's just those horrible school feeding people used to give me that bright yellow cheese when I was five. It turned my hair from blonde into some brown mouse. I was also blonde, madam. As true as God, Dora. <laughs> I swear, madam. I was born with this hair. Ah, oh, shame, Dora. You know why God gave us blacks such a wonderful sense of rhythm? No. Because he fucked up our hair. <laughs> Oh, oh God, the pain of God. What's happening? Oh, Dora's being a racist. Oh, sis man, Dora. I've no sense of humor when it comes to racism, I swear to God. Nor have I, nor have I. Oh, really? In the light of the violence here in Johannesburg, maybe you ladies know the difference between a tourist and a racist. Leave it alone now, Dora. No, 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 I'm interested. So what's the difference between a tourist and a racist? Ten minutes. Oh, oh, no, the pain. Oh, oh, oh. No, sis, man, I can't laugh. Oh, no, no, I want to wee. I'll get the nurse. No. Bye, no. ladies. No, no, Dora. Dora. No, oh, no, sis, man, I wanted you to bring me my hand cream. Oh, no, no, you can use mine. Where is it? I don't know. What do you mean? Can't you see either? No, nothing. Black. I had the eyes done as well. Oh, it's amazing what they can do with laser. No more looking for contact lenses in the Malibu surf. <laughs> oh, I want to see my face. You'll die before you see your face if you don't do exactly as I tell you. Now, who wants the bedpan? I must go to the toilet. Uh, the bedpan, Mrs. Fine, doctor's orders. <gasps> Nowhere near a mirror for you till he says so. But I can't use this in front of Cheryl. She can't see. No, but she can hear. Now, not even you will hear the tinkle on the tin. Nazi! Listen, I'm going to report you to Dr. Zuma. She's my very, very best friend. Oh. No, no, Dora, you know my schedule. I'm very, very busy. Just take the bag to Madam and send her my love, okay? And so she says to me, I'm going to marry him. Oh, that's great. A doctor? Mm. My daughter Lauren was a doctor. My dreams come true. Except he's an Indian doctor. India? Mm. You mean a dances with wolves type of Indian? No, doll. Indian like an Oriental Plaza Indian. Oh. God, my holy daughter, I couldn't believe it. I was so upset. Where did she get hold of all these Indians in her mind? I mean, there were never Indians in our house when she grew up. Never. With coloreds and blacks, yes. Gays and lesbians, yes, but never Indians. Would you have been happier if she was a lesbian? Don't be disgusting, Cheryl. You mean you would be happy if she married a black? Look, I'm a liberal, but not a fool. Where would my daughter go married to a black? Parliament. Morning, madam. Oh, Dora. Must I have it send the things you want? You see, Herbert doesn't want to see me. Oh, man, just wait until you're ready and then let him see you. Yes, maybe you're right. Dora, how do I look today? Outstanding, madam. Mm. Any washing for me to take back? Yes, there's some washing in the cupboard in the corner. And there's some of Miss Cheryl's stuff. You can take that and wash that as well. Oh, oh thanks, Dora. Oh, Squatters outside. Oh, no, the prices they charge you, I know it's disgusting. I can't believe it. This I want to see with no, my eyes. No, madam, you can't see. Hey? Sit. Believe me, when you've seen one squatter, you've seen them all. You can say that again. Oh, Cheryl, I mean to tell you, but you've been so busy with your news. I've got squatters. What? Have you asked the sister for something? Oh, are they not catching, are they? I said squatters, not squitters. Oh. No, man, stop with the fingers now. 
I want my feet done. Oh, Swap with me. Come on. Here you okay, go. Okay, Are you there with, with yeah, the feet? I want some of that nice stuff you brought from Paris, that lovely okay. lotion. Okay. I'm going to check Okay, so. there we are. Right. And don't tickle Madame. She mustn't laugh. No, I mustn't laugh. No. Uh, squatters! Your house in Houghton. Oh, doll, I thought it was the end of the world. You know, I was coming back from my holiday in Plet. Three weeks of absolute outstanding bliss. I was driving to the gate of our house in Houghton. When outside on the ivy, what do I find? <coughs> Excuse me, what the hell is going on here? Oh, sweet God. is going on outside? Nimrod! Who the hell are you? Are you with them? Tabo, madam. I, I mean Nimrod. Oh, no, no, no. Why, well, I'm always the last person to know what is happening in my own house. Where's my other Nimrod? My favourite Nimrod. Where is he, Dora? Is he in jail? Is he in Parliament? Is he dead? He's in therapy, madam. Which is not very good for my garden. Bags. And Nimrod, if you go to work for me, learn my rule number one. You don't come into my house with dirty feet. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, Dora, I have not come home for this. I mean, I've just spent three weeks in Plitt, having a wonderful holiday, healing my stressed out soul, calming my jagged nerves, trying to build up some optimism to face another season in Johannesburg, and then this. Madam, I'll explain. Oh, you'll explain. Yes. Now, let me tell you. If these uh, people are part of your extended family coming for a holiday in Houghton, sorry. This affirmative guest house is closed. I knew it. When Herbert phoned me in the car this morning, I knew it. You won't believe this, Noel. The company has been banned. I can't hear you. Banned? The company has been banned from building houses for the RDP. Why? Because of affirmative action. Affirmative what? I mean, what affirmative action? For God's sake. Uh, wake me when it's over. What affirmative action, for God's sake? They say the board of directors is all white. <laughs> yes, it's me and you. Dora, I don't want you and Cookie to misunderstand anything here. I've got nothing against squatters. As to his God, some of my best friends have got squatters. As so you can be honest with me. Do you know these people? No, madam. No, madam. They're just people with no work, no homes, no hope. They're black. That's all you need in this damn country today, and the world will fall into your lap. It's us poor whites that end up with no work, and homes full of squatters. Uh, Tabo and me, I mean Nimrod and me, will come with you. You can meet the squatters and talk to them, madam. That's a very good idea. After all, this is the new South Africa. There's nothing that a nice chick can't cure. Find Nimrod and my nice orange hand. Okay, Tabo, it's a little bit of a squatter. Saya Bona. I'm Comrade Madam from the Big House. Don't they understand English? They are afraid, Madam. Who are Tabo? Yo, you must say you are We are in Madam. Madam. Kids are like a rona. If you know, see me. Oh, a smile. Oh, thank God. I won't end up in their cooking pot. Uh, <clears throat> now listen, Nimrod. Tell them that I want them to know that I'm on their side. Tell them. Madam, I are la mujer. Le can na mon tuye ya ha hui. Tell them that I realize that they were promised all sorts of wonderful things before the election. Houses, cars, jobs, hope. Madam Ari, you look like you're too mad. The guy dirties. How about you? You talk about tennis. Ute ngo tali ruta. And now look at them still living in boxes and bags like garbage. Tell them that I'm very upset. I'm appalled. I'm shocked, and I'm very, very sorry. Oh. And tell them that they can't have a squatter camp in this area. Tell them that's final. Arle ta fuwa di noto lo ta go tswa le tsene ka mogolo le rata. Fela mongwe le mongwe wa lona go santse rantu ile di ranta di le masoma mabedi ka beke. Tabo, ke masepa eng wa buang. Ha ke re ke itshamikela. Au. Come madam. This is not a good idea. No, no, but Dora, I want them to understand. I think we should phone the ANC headquarters and ask for advice. Come madam. Is <laughs> Bagaetu, 
yoli mo libileng yo ke mo kamedi wa lefelo le lina la me ke general thabo I tried to make them understand that when my mother died, she left me this beautiful house and the property in her will. And if my mother finds out that they are squatting on her land, she'd plots on the spot. Dora, what do they say? Do I have rights? I tried to negotiate with them. You know, like any normal South African, I wrote out a check. They didn't even know what it was. I waved a new 200 rand note at them. They just waved back. I promised them my new digital watch but that was stolen in Plet last week. Oi, I said, look at me. I'm one of you. I'm on your side. I'll help you move. I'll find you a nice new place to live in someone else's backyard. Just get the fuck off my land. Okay, Mrs. Fine, Mrs. Hector, today's the day. Oh, I can see my face. No, I can see your face. I mean, if you don't like what you see. Well, then maybe I'll divorce you and marry Mrs. Factor. Oh, you've more confidence in my results. Well, I've always had a soft spot for blondes. Oh, have I got news for you? Right, well, don't move, Mrs. Fine, and don't open your eyes, whatever the costs. But can't I just have one little look, one little peek? All in due course. But now, who, who do I look like? Do I look like Elizabeth Taylor or Sharon Stone or Madonna? Michael Jackson. Mm. Now, it's been a success, Mrs. Fine. The, the bruising and the swelling, that'll have to clear. But once it all comes down, then I'm sure you'll be delighted. What do you think, Nurse Bosman? Hmm. Men will look at her and fall down dead. Oh, you really mean that, Sister Bosman. I don't know why that woman hates me so much. I've done nothing to her. No, don't worry, Mrs. Fine. Don't you worry at all. You just relax. Would you like something to help you relax, maybe? No, I'm OK, thanks. Uh, but, but, but I want something. Yes, I'm sure. Something to help you make you sleep? Uh, to calm me down. Oh, yes, me too. On second thoughts, I'm so tense, I need something to relax me. All right, I'll have something sent in. Back asleep, Emma. Good night, ladies. Good night, Doctor. Mm. His voice makes him sound so much younger. Oh, God, Cheryl, I'm dying to see what I look like. Listen, what do you think they'll do if I go into the bathroom and peep under my bandages? No, 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 we swore we wouldn't interfere. Remember last time you peeped and had a nervous? Well, I'm glad I peeped last time because they gave me a nose like a Pekingese. <coughs> anyway, where was I? Oh, yes, with the squatters. I slept around those cardboard boxes and those black garbage bags trying to blend in. You know, I didn't even speak English. I didn't want to, to, to hear them accusing me of Eurocentricity or racism or even class. My God, I was so politically correct in my conversation with those squatters that half the time I didn't even know what the hell I was talking about. Oh, and then I had an absolute brainwave in my own brain. I remembered Herbert's phone call that morning, telling me that our construction company letterhead was too white for business. So I went back to the squatters and I said, excuse me, oi, squatters, hello. Comrade Madam is going to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm going to give you a house, a car, a maid, a chauffeur, health and racket club three times a week. All you have to do in exchange is just find one of you to be the managing director of our company. Okay, you don't have to know how to read and write, we'll do that for you. Just be black, be beautiful, and be on time more or less once a week. Leave all the boring financial details to us, okay? Madam, please. Oh, um, we were just having a discussion. You speak so to now, madam. Well, I made them some suggestions. Listen, they should be so lucky. <laughs> Let them discuss it among themselves. What is there to discuss, Dora? It's very simple. Do you want to be the managing director of one of the most successful construction companies in South Africa, or don't you? They must consult each other first, negotiate, and weigh up the pros and cons. What? They must create a democratic forum, find a quorum of consensus. Forum, quorum, schmorum, listen. I mean, all they have to do is make up their minds. Come on, I'm late for the hairdresser. Hey, listen, schmucks. Make up your mind. This offer does not stand indefinitely. If you don't want the job, I'll give it to Dora. No, madam, this is so sudden. I'm not really serious. I'm just getting them jacked up. I'd be very happy to be managing director of your company. What do you know about business? Whatever <laughs> I learned from you and Master. 
Managing director? I'd be more than just your token black. I would be your domestic supervisor, come MD. Well, I'll, ha I'll have to talk to Master. I I'm sorry, madam. I was very busy. And where the hell were you when I needed you? Hmm? You're fired. Can you believe this? I've been fired. If only. She can't fire you. It is in direct contravention of the labor laws. Section 14, paragraph 3. So, I'm not fired. Help these people pack their things. They've been moved. Where to? Someone else's backyard. Who's here, Mbanna? Mungole mungo tantu elandi ranta dilima sumama baby. Ota iswa kole silong lele kaisa ang. Ko kaisa San City. Diranta dilima sumama baby fella. Is Herbert coming to fetch you? Do me a favor. Herbert's in a meeting. Oh, with that new blonde you mentioned. Actually, I've got him a nice new black secretary. Very sexy, very sweet, and very affirmative. You amaze me, Noel. You find girlfriends for your husband. And that's why he's still my husband, Cheryl. I know Herbert's weakness. It's pretty secretary, so I employ them. At least I know they won't threaten my company or my position. You mean like Dora? Don't start for MD in waiting. God, can you believe it? Dora wants to be the managing director of our company. I mean, Dora, and she can read and write. Ooh, disaster. And that's our fault. Oh, shit, where's this thing? What are you doing? Oh, here it is, my cell phone. God, this is like Braille. Hope I don't get through to a massage parlor by mistake. Ah, say bonne, Dora. It's comrade, madam. Y'all, the bandages are coming off this morning. Now, I want, to, I want somebody to fetch me, Dora. Can you and Master Herbert come? What chauffeur? A chauffeur? Listen, we've got a chauffeur already suddenly. Mm, Master will talk. No, but I want you to come. Oh, Dora, I know it's off duty time for you, but do it as a friend. She's now on a go slow. Amandla. <laughs> Dora, no, just fax down to the garage. Tell this, uh, what's his name? Philemon, tell him to bring the four by four. Nobody steals my four by four. I'll drive over the bastards first. Now, I've got all the ANC colors. I'll wear everything, Dora. Nobody's gonna hijack the car. What is this quetching, Dora? No, not in Corsa. I don't understand quetching in Corsa. Dora, you're being unconstitutional. I'm so, no. God, the blacks have taken over. It's truth, God. Good news and bad news. The bad news is the shit is hitting the fan. The good news is the fan's not working. Congratulations, Mrs. Fine. Oh? The baby I delivered last week has been named after you. What? He is in the Algeria squatter camp. You know, I do one day a week. A little black Noel Fine. No, Noel Stradum. A black baby called Stradum? Well, after all, this is South Africa, Mrs. Fine. Nurse Bosman, would you take care of Mrs. Factor? Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait for this. I'm so excited. All right. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Oh. Or rather, you've been waiting for. There we are. That's it. Oh, I say. There you are. Oh, no! Who's that? What's that? Lila! Oh, Black is oh, beautiful! Oh, no! <laughs> 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 